Residents of a Nairobi slum are on a mission to reduce the damage from flooding in the area. Volunteers have been working to clear debris and waste blocking the waterways and drainage at an informal settlement. News Central's Bettina Whaley tells us more. Armed with shovels, brushes and rakes, the volunteers are working with Wedam Tani, a group set up to help improve life for the people living here. A lack of proper walking drainage systems means flooding is likely when it rains due to it being clogged with plastics, clothing and sludge, among others. After getting the messages from the Kenya Meteorological Department, we translate it into a simple message that uh, people can easily understand. We do it with SMS or WhatsApp. Then after we send, it usually has a... Uh, it has advice. So the advice is, is, is the one which people use in terms of extreme, extreme heat and also flooding. The Kenya Meteorological Department, KMD, has been training young people from informal settlements to interpret weather forecasts. Every week, the volunteers receive weather forecasts, a seasonal outlook and warnings from KMD, which they translate into local language. The translation is sent to other volunteers through WhatsApp or SMS, which is then sent widely to residents. Community leaders are trained to interpret the weather forecast, which they translate into Swahili as well as the local dialect. Weather information uh, is very key to our users and uh, more so to our users in informal settlements. Uh, this is because the kind of focus that we used to share before was mainly informed uh, through the dissemination methods through emails and some of them were not able to access the information or even the few that accessed were not able to interpret it. And uh, then we made a tailor-made uh, focus for them and uh, we were able to train them on how to interpret. Uh, with this we've seen that this information is very key to them because they need it for their day-to-day -day activities, planning of their day-to-day -day lives and uh, this has helped most of them to save life and even property. Fierce flash flooding has been deadly and caused destruction to homes in Kenya slums. Throughout 2022, floods affected most of Africa, killing over 2,100 people. The worst affected country was Nigeria with over 610 deaths. This year, deadly floods have killed 1,216 people in Malawi 476 in the Democratic Republic of Congo, 198 in Mozambique, 135 in Rwanda, 42 in Somalia, 40 in Madagascar, 29 in Ethiopia, 18 in Uganda, 16 in Kenya, 15 in South Africa, among other African countries. Environmentalists believe something drastic needs to be done to curtail this recurring disaster in Africa. Bettina Willy. Reporting for New Central.